Good morning, another beautiful day in God's kingdom. You know, someone once said that the faintest pencil is better than the strongest memory. And another um, famous speaker also says, ink it when you think it. And what is it that they're saying? You know, they're talking about you being able to put your thoughts down on paper. And that relates perfectly with the scripture that we're looking at today. Habakkuk chapter two and verse two says, then the Lord answered me, write the vision make it plain on tablets so he may run who reads it and then he continues to verse 3 and says for still the vision awaits its appointed time it hastens to the end it will not lie if it seems slow wait for it it will surely come it will not delay. And why is writing down what your thoughts are? Why is it important? It's important for the first, for one, you know, for a number of reasons. And firstly, you want to put it down because then you're concretizing the things that you've you've thought about, the dream or whatever it is that you've, you know, you've you've had in your mind. You put it down there while it's still fresh in your memory, and you can put down everything about it. And so when the time comes and time passes and that thing is not happening, you go back to that notebook you're able to remember you're able to see what it is that you felt at, th at that time feel what it is that you felt and you get motivated again to begin to continue on the process you know in the process to continue on the journey and to continue believing and then you also take a look at what you have written and what does it do it helps you again to streamline what you're doing when you're veering off course what you have written brings you back in line and you begin to see again okay this is the reason this is the purpose this is where we're trying to get to this is what we're trying to do and all of a sudden, you'll get that, re that refreshing energy again to continue on the journey. I pray that the Lord will help you, that you will, not lose, you will not lose hope because what you're waiting on hasn't happened. Keep on believing. It will come to pass. God bless you. Have a beautiful day and a great week.